Good day everyone. I am currently on the upper deck of our seven bedroom mansion. Now this floor area will house the cinema room, a private study and a small kitchenette as well as a balcony which takes advantage of these lovely views that you can see here. Now as per our original estimate we're going to use 120 pieces of plywood for the floor decking which would uh, carry the concrete slab for the upper floor but we opted for the steel plates which worked out more economical and we ended up saving about 70 percent uh, instead of using the plywood so here's how the plates look like uh, here's a close-up of some of the plates which are yet to be installed so I'm just walking around to give you a good idea and to see exactly how it looks when it's laid out on the floor and this is much better because once you're done with the cast you can easily uh, disassemble them and send them back without having to keep additional plywood or any materials that would not be of use again so going for the steel plate worked out much better much cheaper and a lot more efficient in my opinion so this will be the void area and then we're going to have the floating staircase on this section so this is the floating staircase coming down to the living room so this will be the void and we'll have balustrades all around here so you can look down into the living room area so we use the steel plates instead of the wood for the flooring of the upper deck So I've got Charles here. I want him to explain to us about the steel plates and how they work. So Charles, um, how many steel plates have you used for this project? Uh, so far, I used 220 plates for this project. Okay. So the, the one in your right hand, that's the actual steel plates? Yeah, the one in the right hand was the actual steel plates. Okay. And the one in your left hand, which is the smaller The smaller, pipe. which is, we use it for patches. When the space is bigger than this, and then we use this one to patch it. Okay, so when, when the area is shorter, yeah. you use this one, this to, one to close it up to, to make sure that yeah. it can fit. Yeah. Okay, okay, right. So on the flooring here, as we've seen earlier on, you said you use roughly about 200 and 230 pieces. pieces. And the total floor area is roughly what? Uh, almost uh, 220 square meter. Great, great. So uh, for this area, how long has it taken you to do this job? Uh, at least uh, by two weeks, everything is supposed to be done. Okay, so within two weeks? Within two weeks, so that the uh, plumber, the electrician, and then uh, the steel bender will come for the, uh, the top work. So okay. after this, and then we do the covering. Okay, so after they, you've done your bit, then the steel bender, the plumber, the plumber they all come the and do their bits. Yeah. And then we can cast the yeah. flooring. Yeah. Okay, great. So with this sort of steel plate, uh, obviously they you they are easily reusable. Yeah, we, use, we can use it for uh, pillars too. So you, what are, yes, what, what are some of the things that you can use the steel uh, we can plates use it for? for? So far, we can use it for pillars. Right. This is the holes, the holes for the lockers. Right. We use these holes to do the lockers, and then you can fix it. Maybe you are going to, if you want to do a gutters or bridges, you can, you can fix it and then move it forward. Okay. The right. So at the same time, if you want to do pillars, you go this way and then go this way so you can even move it to any square meter you want okay so you can use it for any size of yeah, pillar that you want, you want yeah. okay and great. then uh, if it's swimming pool the same thing you, you just fix it up and then give it a place all right so you can use this the place also to to cast the swimming pool, swimming pool yeah. right well, what are the stuff uh the stuff uh, you, you need this one and then you need two by four for supporting and then the apple jacks the props which is the so you use this bar for all 
so that all will be in line. Okay, right. Then you support it there, okay. so that uh, the reinforcement will not push it back. Okay, all right. So you can help support it in place, yeah. so it's secure. Yeah. Brilliant. So um, let's walk around, talk us through what. So, so it's a combination of steel and wood. But naturally, instead of you buying all the plywood and everything, you can use the steel plates, finish the job, detach them, and then send them back without any extra cost. So the, the advantage is that you don't have to buy all this wood, which at the end of the project, you don't know what to do with the wood. Of course, yes. Buying plywood, you'll be spending somewhere in the region of about 130 to 100 and 170 cities, which after using the plywood, if, if you're not a builder, the, the plywood would obviously go to waste. But with these steel plates, you use it, you hide them, you use them, and at the end of it, you send it back. And it's strong, yes. So strong. There, there will be no bend or push yeah. down. Yeah. Right. Let me see the back end of it. So okay. the reinforcement is very good. So on the lower deck, I can see that you supported them with. Uh, so these are two by four. Yeah, four. with bamboo, two by four, so that you all be in line. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so normally it would take you two weeks for this sort of floor area to yeah. assemble the to steel assemble plates. The steel yeah. So after the two weeks, as the steel and the plumber. So, guys, uh, it's about to rain. You can tell from the skyline. We're trying to do this video uh, as quickly as possible so we can get out before the rain catches up with us. So, uh, Charles, early on, you were you also saying that these steel plates, well, they have them in sizes and they are bigger sizes, yeah, bigger which can be used for bridges. Yeah, we have uh, one meter by Three and three meters, right. which is for retaining walls, and then uh, you can use it for a swimming pool. You can use it for bridges. You can use it for gutters, right. and then uh, we will give more video on that. Okay, yeah. great. So uh, we're trying to show everyone that we are having here. This is going to be our, our floating staircase. So these these will be attached to the walls, and. So I'm just showing the lower end of the steel plates with the bamboo support. Uh, so we've got the 2x4 which is directly underneath the plates and supported by the bamboo. So, Charles, the, the rain is almost upon us. C yeah. Come this way, okay. so we are out of the rain. Okay. So, Charles, so how many bamboo did we use here? Uh, so far, we used about 180 bamboos. So 180 pieces of pieces the bamboo. Of bamboo. Yeah. And then uh, the two, two by four. Two by four. The two by four. We used about one. Uh, we use about 80 pieces. 80 pieces of 2x4. And okay. then the sideboard, we buy about that one to 80 pieces. Okay, so that's that's the board that was used use for molding the staircase. Yeah. And then the sideboard and the side beams. Right. So that's the sideboard, the same board that we use for the staircase. And then the plate too. So far, we use about uh, 230 plates. 230 plates, yeah. 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 So, uh, it's, it's started raining. So, I'm just going to show you another view. So, the rain finally kicked us out. So, we're just about to leave. Uh, I'm just showing the hallway. Uh, 
than this section over here. So we we have we haven't put the plastic sheet yet on the steel plates. So naturally the rain is skimming through. Let's see which room. So that's the ceiling. Right, so thank you all for watching once again. Appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos. Kindly subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment if you have any questions, anything that you'd like to know regarding the material, the time frame, anything that we did not include in the video, you can let us know. Thank you very much.